Thanks to your iPad's task management app, Reminders, you will have no excuse for forgetting birthdays or appointments. This lesson shows you the basics of the Reminders app. Now, the Reminders app comes pre-installed with the iPad and before you open it, let's open the settings and see what you need to adjust. And there is a settings app for Reminders. And you only have a couple of things that you can add in there. First of all, syncing reminders. If you turn on reminders in iCloud, then any reminders on this device, the iPad, will also be synced to the cloud. And you have a choice what you want to sync, all of the reminders or just certain ones, going back two weeks or six months. And the other thing is your default list. So you need to have a, a list already established before you change this. And I've got a couple of lists there you know, that are all synced to iCloud. And that's the one I want to be the default list, the shopping list. I mean, iCloud, if you want your reminders to be synced, then you do need to turn them on in iCloud. All right, so let's open the app, Reminders. Now, it's a very basic to-do list app. Uh, if you wanted something a little bit more sophisticated that would give you a wider range of tasks, then you'd be better off searching the App Store for a third-party to-do list. Uh, to start off, you can add a list. So if I tap on the left there, I can add a list and pick the color of that list. So I've got a couple of blue ones. So let's pick a green one. And where the cursor is flashing, I can change the name of that list. Just make up a name. So this one could be homework tasks. If you don't like it, change the color. And it's a bit hard to read that red, so I can go and edit on the existing list here. Edit. I can edit the color. The color. So it's something where I can read it, so yellow is better. And I can also edit the sharing because I can share this list with somebody else so that we can both contribute to the tasks and add them and complete them. So I could wanted to add a person. It'll go into my contacts and I can search for a contact or just put one in. So I'll just put this person in. I'm going to add that person to this list. So I'm sharing that list. And I can stop sharing with Linda by just tapping that name and scrolling to the bottom and stop sharing. And then done. Now if I tapped edit over here, all I'm, in, all I'm going to be able to do is delete by tapping the red circle. Let's tap away or reorder. So you can't actually change the color from the, the lists once you've created them. So done. So if you want to add something to the list, so if I go into my shopping list, I've got a couple of things there already, and you've just got to tap the, the, the blank line and um, whatever you want to remember, just type it in. And you keep adding them one by one, tapping the return to go to a new um, line. When you've done the list, when you've completed an item on the list, you just tap it there and these are all the completed. When you show completed, they're all the lists that I have completed, all the things I've purchased. If I want to delete them, I swipe to the right and delete or I can tap the edit and tap the red and delete. So anything that's completed has the blue circle. So I'm going to delete that swiping it and then hide the completed so for the these two shopping list ones for the drinks for the barbecue if i want to be able to remind it when i leave a location to go and buy those drinks i can tap the i there which then brings up some scheduling so the drinks for the barbecue is the is the task and i want to be reminded either on a day so if i put that one for the day i want to be reminded uh on say Wednesday because I'm going to be going uh, Tuesday because I'm going to be doing it on Wednesday 
at, and you can pick the time, so let's make it 11 a.m., and you can repeat that reminder. So if this was an ongoing task and you want to be reminded um, every day or every week, every two weeks, etc., you could put in your own frequency. You could put those details in uh, for repeat. This is not only a once, so it's going to be repeated never. Uh, or you can have, and you can have the priority, so I'm going to say that's uh, fairly important. And then what list is it coming from? It's coming from the shopping list. You can add some notes there, and then done. So this task at 11 a.m. tomorrow, you'll be given an alert. Now, the other way you can do it, I tap meat for barbecue, tap the actual entry, and tap the I, I can be reminded at a location. And the location is strongly linked to what you have in your contacts card for you. So I have a work address in my, con in my contacts card. I have a home address. And so if I want to be reminded when I leave work, uh, when you arrive at work or when you leave work, so I'm going to say when I leave or work, and this is called geofencing. So it gives me a, a perimeter that once I get outside that perimeter of work, it will then send me that reminder. And you could do it in the home, like when I arrive home, uh, remind me to go and feed the dog. So it's uh, the summary there, remind me at a location when I'm leaving work, done. Oh, actually, I forgot to do the priority, so I can go back into that one, the I, and make that one even more urgent, and then uh, done. Now you can see a list of your, your scheduled reminders by tapping Schedule. You can see today's and tomorrow's. And you'll also get notifications in your Notifications Today view. And I haven't got any at the moment, but they'll appear there, so they'll remind you. When you've finished a task, you just... Tap it to show it's completed, and then you'll see all of the jobs that have been completed. And if you want to recreate that task, then just uncomplete it. Just tap that and hide your completed. Edit it. You can delete, as we said before, delete them all. Now, the other thing to look at is in the iCloud. Now, in iCloud, if I went onto a computer in any web browser, and went to iCloud.com, signed in with my Apple ID, then anything that I've done on any connected device, so I've got a, an iPad that I've turned on reminders in iCloud, I've also got an iPhone, so if I did a reminder from the Reminders app from the iPhone, that would also be synced up to uh, iCloud. And I want to look at my Reminders. So anything that's on my iPad reminders should appear here. So when I go into shopping list, you can see the same information. So I move this away. So here's the shopping list. On the left is the iPad, on the right is iCloud, and it's the same information. So if I delete one of the tasks here on the meat for the barbecue, I'm going to delete that one. Then in a few seconds, it should also be synced across to the iPad. You can also add one on iCloud.com. So I could have an, add a new list. Add a new list, change the color, put in a task. And we've got details, so you can actually do reminding, priority, notes. If you want to move a task to another list, just highlight the task, then tap the I, and then check a different list. So I'm going to put that into my tasks, and done. So I've moved that one. Now you can just see now the other list from iCloud has just been pushed down. So that's about two, three minutes that took. And now that list is now on my iPad. So it's not instant, but it does happen you know, quite quickly. So if I was to now want to change that color, uh, I could go into the edit 
and change the colour of that list because it's very hard to read and make it brown and done. So within a minute or two, that, that colour will be reflected back on iCloud and onto the iPhone. In this lesson, we took a look at Reminders, a very basic task management list app that comes installed with your iPad. That's all for this lesson.